Hi, this is Lynn coming to you again with another tip. Today I was thinking about how to get some audio onto my to a client's Facebook page. And I thought, well, rather than just have plain audio and that be kind of boring and somebody just has to sit there and listen, why not add something that they can watch along with it? So I thought, why not make the audio into a little movie? And so what, what I did is I'm using Windows Movie Maker and you can get that for free from Microsoft. So I've, I have it already downloaded and on my machine. And then I've already got it somewhat done to save time. But what you do once you have, have it uh, pulled up is you want to, of course, add some videos and photos. So you click on that and mine's defaulted to here and I'm not going to select any more but you can select as many as you like you know hold down the control key to to sh select some around in the folder and then you have it here and then to start out uh, you would click on the credits or not I'm sorry not the credits on the caption and you want to add a caption I've already done it for this one on this I'm going to go over here though and click on caption I'm going to move it up here and say try this great product I want to make it bigger so I'm going to make I can do that I could change the the font color I could change the the font to whatever I wanted of course that's really ugly and I've already got this one a limited time only and then um, I want to add some audio with it so I'm going to click back over here, click my home button, add music, and I've already got this selected. This is a song my, my daughter sang. I didn't want to get any get into any copyright violations. So that is there and is pretty much ready to go. And now, uh, just in, besides having something kind of plain like this, I could go up here and choose one of these others. But just to let you know, when you do choose one of the movie themes, it will add some other uh, additional slides at the end. So you have to kind of budget for that. I like this one. And you can see that it's got a directed by, starring, and filmed at. So you'll have to, and I, you can't really get rid of those. I've tried to get rid of them, but they always come back. So you might as well, you can, of course, you can take the directed by out of there and put whatever you want. You can't even see that, but you can put some other text in there instead of directed by. Uh, it's, it's up to you. So there you've got your, your movie all ready to go, your clip all ready to go, and it'll just scroll through there, and you can hear the music kind of in the background. But I like this. It, it really makes your text stand out, so I, I like using this feature. So we'll stop it there, and once you've got got it like you'd like it, then you've got to decide how you're going to save it. How, and I would suggest either um, if you have a YouTube account, if this is for business, I'd save it to your YouTube account and name it something. Of course, you've got Flickr, Messenger, Facebook, SkyDrive, or you can go over here and save it to your computer. So those are your different choices. and. Um, that is pretty much how you do it. If anybody has any questions, let me know. But I thought this would is kind of an easy way to do it. It makes your audio clips more interesting and hopefully will keep people's attention. Thanks for listening.